da 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 The next cartoon that I want to talk about actually is this one, which is uh, can I bring this up? Can I bring this up? Gravity Falls. So Gravity Falls. What is Gravity Falls? Oh, this is another really, really unusual Disney cartoon. It's uh, um, it's drawn and the pace is for kids, but adults could watch this series and enjoy it too. It's basically the Scooby Doo Mysteries meets the X Files. Okay, um, basically it takes uh, these two kids who have to live in the American Pacific Northwest, where a lot of weird things happen. A lot of paranormal and supernatural mysteries happen in the American Northwest. I don't know why, it just is. UFOs, ghosts, um, aliens, uh, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, um, uh, weird, crazy, magic stuff happens. It's, it's weird. But anyway... It takes place in this really, really small town uh, in this tourist shop. Not an official tourist shop. It's just this, um, the, the, the uncle, I think it's this uncle, of these two kids um, decided one day he was going to open up a tourist shop that, says all, that, that shows all the weird things about this, uh, this town that they live in. Um, here's a tourist. Here's a tourist store where you can get some tourist info about this town. That's a really weird. Weird stuff happens in this town, and these kids who have to live in this town because I don't remember the reason why. But again, a very non-traditional family. Like they didn't grow up in this town. They lived from somewhere else, and then they had to come live with their uncle for some reason. And they were kind of part time while they're going to school. They were students. They were kids. They were children, and they went to school. But they also worked part time for their uncle. And when they were working in their uncle's uh, weird tourist information center that he decided to make himself. They go on these adventures trying to solve the mysteries of the things that their uncle sells in the tourist shop. Yeah, that's the whole premise of the series. And it was created by a very clever, young, very young writer and who, with no experience in Hollywood at all, no animation experience, they just decided, they just saw, they liked his pitch and they said okay let's do it we're just going to have you make a series and they canceled it after two seasons and it had a huge fan following huge fan following more than many other cartoons it was crazy um but but eventually but disney gave them only two seasons and then said, okay, the second season is the last is the last one. But something that they did that was very different than other studios is they told the creator, the, the guy who wrote this series, they told him that they were canceling it and they gave him time to finish the series his own way. They didn't just say, okay, guess what? Oh, by the way, we finished last season. The, the past season, and I know you are writing some some stories for next season. Oh, by the way, don't, don't do that anymore because we decided not to do another season. They didn't do that way. They said, okay, we've decided not to do another season. So you, we're going to give you the freedom to finish the story of Gravity Falls in your own way. And that's exactly what he did series that didn't last very long is um, this one, which is Star versus the Forces of Evil. And this was another very unusual art style. It, it was designed for older teens as well, not for little kids. And um, the again, another uh, a female is the hero. That we had uh, Kim Possible for a long time, but now we have a little girl who's the hero, and it's all about the power of imagination. 
and using fantasy in our minds in healthy ways to solve our problems. Um, but again, uh, Disney didn't give this a very long life. It, it didn't last very long. Um, but it was, again, another fan favorite series. Um, so Star versus uh, the Forces of Evil. This was... This was when Disney was really trying to try, um, let's do some weird stuff with the animation. Let's do weird stories. But also, let's encourage a, a freer use of imagination with our audience and see how that, how that will go. And, and kids loved it. Kids loved a really strange cartoon. That they really liked it, um, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough for them to decide to continue with the with the series. There were problems, though, with this series. Um, even though the hero of the story is a girl, it was not a very female focused cartoon. Um, it, and and so it it had it had some problems in terms of, of of being being material you would create for for your audience who's young girls. There wasn't enough. Another cartoon that Disney created to focus on another very specific audience, and I'm talking about American Dragon. All right, so let me explain American Dragon. American Dragon, the audience for this series is minority audience, minority children, um, because the character, the hero of the story, is a Chinese-American kid who discovers that he not only is he like a really smart guy who goes on and has these adventures, he also has a superpower. He can turn into a dragon. It was supposed to have some interest in the Asian American community because at the time, there wasn't a lot of cartoons, not a lot of TV shows that Asian American children could, could connect to. To, or, or minority kids, just all minorities, people of color, could connect to. But there was something really wrong with the series. They they hired, and by the way, this I want to say this was 10 years ago. When did this come out? I'm gonna, let me tell you when this came out. Oh, okay. 15 years ago. Um, 15 years ago. And it lasted um, two seasons. And why? And, and, and okay, so if we're going to compare it, Gravity Falls and uh, Star. Gravity Falls, I don't know why they decided not to continue with it. Um, because it had a huge fan following. But they did, and they decided, well, because of the of the fans, we're going to let the creator of the series finish the story so that it finishes in a satisfying way. It, it is a the end. We're going to give the the fans a the end, and they did the same thing with Star. It's not really working. It's not working. But we're going to give the creator a chance to to finish it, and that that was the end of the series. Um, the problem with American Dragon is nobody liked it. It was a cartoon. It had all of the elements that an Asian audience would love. It didn't work. And so, but also, it had some criticism. But later in its production, it had some criticism. It had um, the voice actor who was famous for doing a character for Avatar The Last Airbender. That's, that's one of the reasons why they hired him. Is to do that. He eventually would do the voices for some for some uh, Star Wars cartoons, but everybody else, all of the other voice actors, were white. The writers for the series were white men, all of them, and the show creator 
and the producer was a white man. All of them telling a story and writing episodes, but don't have the Asian American experience or point of view. They, they don't know anything about what it is to be a minority. They're old white guys. What, so what are they doing telling an Asian story? Telling a story about a about Im- um, immigrant life. Immigrant life in America, what is that like? They, they've never experienced that. They're just kind of making it up. And also, they made... They made a lot of race jokes that if a person of color wants to make the joke, but also make a connection with that joke, it can be funny. But when a white person makes this joke, it's racist. So American Dragon was really pushing pushing the limit. It, it was it was racist, kind of racist. It's a little bit racist, and that's not a good cartoon. You don't want your cartoons to be racist. You don't want to be teaching kids how to be racist. So they canceled it. They just killed it, which is good because it was not a good show. But what's the next step? If they're going to fix the damage they have with the minority community, what are they going to do? Well, they went back to the movies. And this is the beginning of when they take their popular animated movies and turn it into cartoon series that end up being pretty popular. I'm talking about Big Hero 6. So Big Hero 6 isn't the only, only time they do this. Around this time, 2005, 2010, and for the past 10 years, that's what they've been doing. They've been taking their animated series and then make cartoons out of them. And in the past, in the past, this, this way of telling a cartoon would be terrible. But for Disney, this was really successful. And Big Hero 6 really fixed a lot of the problems that they, that they made for themselves when they made American Dragon, which was super racist. But Big Hero 6 was already a really popular uh, movie for uh, children of color and minorities and immigrants. And then they made the series and had a diverse writing team and diverse acting personalities, voice actors, do the voices of the series. Uh, which made it much more accepted and became much more popular. And also, it's a really fun series. I like it. And it's also about a robot. Big Hero 6, he's a robot. And it's also about San Francisco, which is my hometown. That's another good thing. And it's also about robots. But that's good. Big Hero 6. 